Hello everyone for part two of the bleed bow um, build. So pretty much the build when we lasted the video, we got a couple more levels in. We're level 93 now. Not the exact level I was hoping for. I was hoping to be like around 96, 97 so we can have the actual, um, the rest of the, the skill points we've needed. So pretty much where the build continued from last time, the extra skill points uh, the POB will be linked in the description below, the, the current one, to make it a little bit easier. But it's pretty much still the same exact build. This whole part here never changed. It's still the same jewel here with the triple um, draw freeze end, the two eyes opening. Still the Mighty the Meek for the extra thing. If we got another skill point, we would put one point here for a 7% life. We did have to take the... Um, the decks, the 30 percent deck. So I did change the build up a little bit. I got rid of the headhunter, which we had before, which the headhunter is horrible with this build. Damage was horrible, didn't really help at all. Once you put the coil on, I did notice a huge difference. The coil is a lot faster, it's stronger, it's much better to run. One recommend I would do, which I was trying to do, I just couldn't find one in the market, is on your quiver, you have to get at least a 33. A 33 deck's what you need pretty much. I couldn't find one, so I had to pretty much take that skill point. But your options really is the quiver, the amulet can get uh, decks on there, the rings, the gloves even. But it's hard to get them on there, so you pretty much just take what you can get. Quiver by far is probably the easiest and most common, just because you'll see it the most on the quiver. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. So then, pretty much from here, a lot, whole lot didn't change. It's we did. It's the um, the chaos resistance jewel. For the forty-two percent from here, it's still the same. The Watcher's Eye with the double vitality malevolence for the corrupted blood immune. It's still the anointment for the more life. Pretty much uh, from what well, we had eighty, we're at ninety-three right now. So pretty much, if I was leveling this still, I would go ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six. And then pretty much from 97, you have options. If you need, if you want to go here, if you need more resistance, that might be the best option actually. If you want to go up here, you can for more for a lot more armor and life. You have this option for 5% life. But ideally you want to get this one, this one for 7%, and this one over getting this one though. Because these are more important, especially the life regen. Because this character usually averages about a thousand life per second. So it's really nice. And pretty much a lot of it hasn't changed since then. It's still pretty much the exact same build. It's still the same here. So I did check on Path of Building, what the difference between like running this uh, Ascendancy versus running the other one that everyone runs usually. So if you run the other Ascendancy, it's about an extra 1.5 million damage, but you lose about 30% uh, Fizz mitigation on here. Defense, here it is. That you'll lose about 30% here. And then pretty much your... Um, you just pretty much lose, that's pretty much only the difference really. Because you don't have Fortified anymore. So yeah. So because you lose Fortified permanently, you'll lose movement speed from the Champion's ability. But from the Gladiator, you do get the um, the challenge charges. and So that's more movement speed, more damage from there alone. But it pretty much depends on your preference. I've done both, i played both before, they're both very different. Because if you're playing the other build, the, champ, or the, the Gladiator, you could technically go here and put the um, Thread of Hope to get the... Uh, you can't see it right, actually, hold on. I'll show you how fast. Close this, take this out. To get the uh, to get these two. And I think it's a medium, if I'm correct. But it gives you the one minimum Frenzy and one minimum Endurance Charge. So you always have those. And then you just put them on your rings to the extra... Like, you know, you craft on your rings and helmet the... Um, or rings and amulet, I mean, the Endurance Frenzy, so you always have three. It's a strong build if you go that route, but that route is going to cost you a lot of money. This one's, it's more of just a tank build. You, you do less damage, but it's more tank. This one's averages, the Puncture plus the Instant Arrow is about 2.5 million. And the other one's about 3.7. So that's really the big difference between the two. And then you also run Pride 2 up here. Instead of Vitality, you just run Pride. So that's why more, that's why you have a lot more damage too. And this one says it gives you more life regen. But with the uh, with this league, with the new gems though, 
you do actually you do get more damage on full life. So it's, all the gems on here are the exact same. Nothing changed at all. The gems here are the same. The flask are the same. The only difference really was just the coil. And that's pretty much the only difference. So I'll do a map showcase of us. It's pretty much the same map as last time. So pretty much a lot of it comes down to really, because the build plays the exact same. It's pretty much just move. Oh, hold on. There we go. I mean, your, your bleed does kill. Your, well, your damage comes from your bleed. Your initial damage is bad, but your bleed damage is where it's all at. And then pretty much to increase your damage. I'll show you. So pretty much, like, I've done 83 heists with this build. It's not... Huh? Or you randomly died like that somehow. No idea why I died from. Try this again. Not the best match showcase, but I had no idea what killed me there. Because the boss didn't even touch me yet. Let's try this again. Okay, so we're going to do this be safe. Whenever you go to a boss, make sure you put your, your totems out. And once the totems hit the boss, just puncture it. And the boss health was... We did Elder Guardians, no problem. We were doing a bunch of them. Because once you do this, the other health is flying down. And he's dead. There's one more boss. You want to keep puncturing just to keep doing damage. And then it'll just die on its own. We'll clear that self section out. Because one thing too, if you play the the Gladiator extends, you don't really need the Expo Chest. This is quality of life. So, I mean, the builds are very different. I think the Gladiator is cheaper by far and a lot easier to play with. This one's a little bit harder and it still randomly gets one shot. Pretty much a lot of it comes down from is just the Fizz mitigation. Like, if you can get this number higher, like getting a better chest piece, like mine, this one's not good at all. 20% quality is bad, 1100 armor is pretty bad. There's a lot better you can get with the, with, uh, the chest piece. If your protection is a lot better, your number probably like around 45 normally, and when you activate the fortified, it probably is around 60. Or like high 50s. 39, 40. Yeah, it's about 6% more. So that's why pretty much mostly it comes from like a lot of this gear should be upgraded better. Like the chest piece about is gonna be a big upgrade if I do upgrade this. The rings I can't really upgrade. This one could be upgraded by getting rid of the the global crit strike multiplier, since we don't crit in this build. But that's not going to be easy to get rid of. The boost can't really be changed that much. The gloves. You can get rid of the fire damage to attacks and make that a fizz damage to attacks. So that's pretty much the best I think I would probably say go for. Which is like the one we have in here. This one. Like this one's more ideal to use over this one. It's just this one you need for the void elements. That's the only reason you run. I run this one right now. Because if I had a higher level where I can put this gem in to get the 30% there, I would have switched these gloves out, like I said last time. For a huge damage boost. Don't need those. So that's pretty much, there's not a whole lot of difference between the build. It's pretty much the exact same. No difference. It's a couple more levels. That's pretty much it with more life regen. Because I think last time we didn't have all this. And now we have this whole section here, so it's more life. So now we're at 5.4. So I mean, pretty much the build... The build's fun to play, it's just you do need, I mean the build does need the gems though. It's a big thing to give, to let you guys know, is that you really do need the Awakened gems. The 21, 23, the 21 gems. They do help out the damage, because the damage in this build is a problem, based on what I've noticed. Because like Puncture is your main damage for your bosses, with the Snare and Arrow combo. And Split Arrow is just for your clear speed, but it's even with the damage, it's still a lot of problems. So, I mean, the build's fun, but I would recommend only if you have nothing else to do in the league and you want to spend some currency to try something new. So, that's pretty much the end of this video. And pretty much from here, we're going to go ahead and complete the last two challenges we need to do. Which will probably end up being the map grind grind one, which is going to be annoying, but it's doable. I know how to, it's just I got to get rotations of it. And then finishing off the rest of these. Because then once we get the portal, we'll be done with the league. And then we're going to sell everything off to convert it all to Chaos and Exalts. And then from there, we'll just practice for flashback and we'll play something else for some time. 
So if, if you like what you see, hit, hit the subscribe button below. Come follow me on Twitch if you have any questions. If you're looking for this, play this build, and you're looking for this jewel exactly, let me know. I probably will still have it by the time you're seeing this video that I can sell it to you because there's no way to actually sell this jewel on the, the, the trade system. It's impossible, to be honest. No one's ever going to be able to buy it unless you can somehow do picture copy and all that, which I'll have to see if I can, but I don't know if it's possible. So I hope everyone liked the video, and I hope to see everyone in the next video.